Great day. Say yeah. that for everybody. I used to be a summer camp counselor, and my specialty was arts and crafts. There you go. <laughs> One of the glue kids. One of the glue kids. You guys are live. Did you guys ever make? Hello. <laughs> Did y'all ever make like name tags at the summer camp I went to? Where these wooden name tags you'd make, and you'd paint them very intricately, and then spray them so they're no. lacquered. Uh, I, like, it was just a day camp. Uh, this is like a stay there for like a week camp or whatever. No, uh, I would never. It's a very, very, very long process of like, you could tell who just didn't care and they'd put their name on the thing. <laughs> and there's also ones where like you'd take the paint and like swirl it together, you know, the oil drops or water drops and then go over it. Uh, very fun art and craft that I, I, I will never get to do again. Okay, you guys are good to go. Yeah, I, am. I don't want I to. I see it this time. This. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't oh, stop, stop too. Stop that. No, it's <laughs> not. Don't worry Push about it. Shush it up. It's shush. Okay. So yeah, now, now I have the comments. The Twitter, you guys want All right, cool. Yeah. I will I'll retweet. I will share it out as well. I'm just going to keep doing this. Awesome. All right, well, let's wait. Now let's see what we got. But. Hello. Hello. How was y'all's Christmas? Crits, crit, how is your Christmas? How, mu- how is your Christmas? I glitched in the middle of that word. Uh, <laughs> how was your Christmas? In the chat. Ryan. Oh, oh I was, no, no, you. In, yeah, yeah, yeah. IRL. The humans here. In, in, in IRL. human here? No, it was great. Very nice. I always like a low key Christmas. What's a low key Christmas? Uh, just keeping it small, keeping it intimate, keeping it real, keeping it real. I thought you would you meant like putting keys down on like the, like the lower part of the tree, like a yeah. low key Christmas. Oh, that no, no, no. <laughs> We're less than a minute in already. Got yeah, high. already got high. <laughs> already got the Marshall dad puns in. <laughs> that was a dad joke, not an upper se pun, but that's fine. More like plague, miss. Am I right? Who's all sick? I've been, I, I have not it. been. I've been like dodging it like the Matrix. Okay. Yeah. My kids four, are <laughs> four out of five yes. people in my household are sick. Yeah, my yeah. kids four. are, but I think I'm I'm like currently like the you know how like for some reason there's a doctor like mm-hmm. in every show that's just well when everyone else is sick uh-huh. and he's it's currently that's my role. That's you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone else is sick. I'm the doctor. We have had out of the last six Christmases. Our hit rate is fifty percent urgent care assistance. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> this year, so. My goodness. Uh, you keep having children, the probability keeps right, going, up there. Cool. going up and up and up. So, uh, girl, and introduce. Oh yeah. Alice, Hi, I'm Cole. I'm Patty. I'm Ryan. I'm Marshall. What do you do here, Cole? Uh, I make games, mostly. Mostly. I help with that. I do graphic design work, mm-hmm. and then. Ryan is our friend. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> friend of the company, Ryan Schneider. <laughs> I play Tess. It's true. I've been playing Tess for two years. Yeah, for a long yeah, time. You are, yeah. like, you are a part. We should have coins or something. For play special tester. boy play tester. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I'm the director of operations, and I play games too a lot. Marshall's critical of making sure that we don't spend too much money. Or that we do. We or don't we know. Do. <laughs> <laughs> spend the right amount of money. <laughs> right. The appropriate amount. Um, so we can get right into it? Yeah. Cool. What's this game? What's this game? What's this game? Uh, so this is Oath. This is Oath all laid out. Uh, and I think the way we're going to run the stream is I'm going to just give a quick overview. I'm going to tell you guys a piece of exciting news. And then we're going to start playing it. But everybody here has played this game a bunch. So we're going to play it. And we're not going to like give you a full teach. We'll do that later. Uh, and we'll take any questions people have in the chat and we'll answer them as best as we can. So we'll kind of make a casual play. As we're playing, we'll sort of try to narrate and show you what's actually happening on the play. But most of this is just kind of introducing you to how this game uh, looks and behaves. Uh, so yeah, this is Oath. Um, Oath is a strange game. Uh, the, the way I like to explain to people is it's a strategy game uh, with kind of a political angle that remembers how you play it. And so the games that follow, the games you complete, will reflect and echo all of the choices that you made in the previous game. Uh, there's nothing pre-scripted either, you know, if you take out the insert from the box, there's not going to be like a little hidden envelope underneath the insert, nothing like that. Uh, you can reset it any time, but the game is so large that if Ryan were to play 10 games with his group and I were to play 10 games with my group, we could switch games and have a appreciable different experience in those two boxes. Um, the game will have a ton of cards, and uh, 
I think more unique art than probably twice or even three times as much unique art as something like Root. So there's a lot. There's a lot of game here. Um, so the general overview is at the start of the game, uh, you'll see uh, this is a this is not the Chancellor. <laughs> I, we, we don't have our purple meeples yet from production, so I'm using a Poltergeist. Also, you know, TMM still in stock. Get it, get it right. Um, it's chancellorish. It's, yeah, it's chancellor. Yeah, well, the chancellor is very scary. He's supposed to be a, scare, a spooky boy. Um, but I, can, I don't know how much Gates is going to hate me for this, but I'm going to just feature like some good, scary, spooky art. Oh, wait, we haven't even gotten there yet. <laughs> Never mind, Gates. Don't worry. Oh, there you we go. We bumped so it. This is the chancellor ah. right here. That's the chancellor. We've already goofed. Have we already screwed We've up? Already it's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it real interesting. People can see the spooky chancellor. It was actually cold, but I'm not gonna say that out loud. Besides, if there are any people watching. Uh, okay, so uh, one player is the chancellor. They start the game kind of controlling this domain, and the rest of the players are gonna be exiles seeking to overthrow it. Um, so I've got I'm gonna play the chancellor this game. I've got to try to hold things together. Uh, I might do that by asking them to join my join my team, or I, I might just try to keep them at arm's length. We'll just see how the game goes. Um, depending on how the game wins, it will inform uh, the mix of this deck, which gets carried over from game to game. It will inform the way the victory condition uh, changes, and uh, all the territory that is owned by the ruler will be kind of saved inside the game. So you can just you literally play in the tableau of the previous player. Um, who won? So, well, how many actions do you get to take? I get to take two. Y'all get three a turn. So these guys are faster, but I'm a little stronger. Um, the other kind of general point that I'll, I'll mention about the game uh, is that mechanically, uh, what you're looking at is something a little bit like a tableau builder. But you'll see in, in the center of the game is this giant row of cards. And we're all going to be building that tableau kind of collectively. So it's a tableau builder, but with a lot of kind of shared incentives, a lot of collective action. People will also get to build their own their own little tableau. So we'll we'll get into the mix in a little bit. As I said before, um, we're not going to talk. I'm not going to do a full teach of this. That'll be coming uh, sometime in the future, and we'll be sharing a lot more about the, the game. But we're just going to kind of start uh, playing. Uh, before that, I think we are happy to announce that our Kickstarter is going to go live on January 14th. Yay. At some undisclosed time. <laughs> uh, but if you want to know when, uh, you can go to our pre-launch page and sign up, and we'll notify you the moment it goes live. Yeah. I'm okay, dropping good. the links right now. Okay, good. I haven't said anything that... Uh, You're good. Good, good. Excellent. Exciting Let's play. news, Cole. Yes. Exciting. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. I am excited. Um, we're really excited about this Kickstarter. We've been... Uh, this game has been in the cooker for a really long time. I started working on it when I was still working on Root, and it's been fun to kind of like let it gestate slowly. I've known that date for at least like a week, so. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, we're all thrilled. This is going to be a really, really, really fun start to the year. All right. Uh, is that a rondelle, uh, says Nicholas? This? No, it is not. Rondell's no, gone. Rondell's, Rondell's gone. gone. Rondell's I, kill, I done gone. killed it. <laughs> Mike says Marshall promised coffee. There is coffee uh, at two ends of the table, Mike, indeed. Yeah, I can pretend I'm drinking coffee, but... Um, yeah, Rondell's gone. I'm, I'm happy to answer, like, in terms of questions, I, I can talk at length about anything in the design. Um, production stuff, we can talk a little bit about, but we're still finalizing some numbers there. Okay. So, uh, let's get to it. So, one of the things I like about this design quite a bit is that it takes three minutes or less to set up. You kind of unroll it. The way the box is going to lend itself to the game is you just kind of are ready to go almost instantly. Um, and the only thing you do when you actually perform setup after you kind of lay everything out uh, is everybody gets three cards from the bottom of the deck. And then you're going to pick one that you want to keep. And I need to think about I should have looked at this before we started. Um, <laughs> Don't worry, I've been looking at them for a while, and I still don't have much of a choice here, or like a, an idea. It's um... And then I, I'll be starting here, so that I'll be discarding my cards right there. Now, one thing, and then you can just go around Patty, so pick where you want to start, and then discard your cards. Uh, one thing that you'll, you'll probably get the sense of uh, when you watch us play is that there are kind of no general supplies or banks in this game. They exist, but they're pretty marginal. Mostly, 
things just don't leave the system. So if you like zero-sum economies and kind of hydraulic interactions, there's a lot of that. And I should mention, all of us are putting our card down, but you could put your card face up at the location. Not at the setup. No, no, no longer. Okay, no longer. sorry, sorry. It's okay. This is what happens when you play all <laughs> sorts of different versions of Cole Early games. Yeah. Um, and I must travel to one of the three face-up mm -hmm. locations. I'm going to start down here, the ruins with nothing. Yep. Oh, I love the actual the ruins. It starts with some magic that you can take. Uh, I think that's good. We have questions about the board yes. already. Uh, is this one that we're actually going to be able to roll out? What yes. What is it made out of? Yeah, so our hope is to do it in neoprene. Uh, we're not sure of exact thickness and things like that. And then the box is going to be wide enough to accommodate a rolled board. So it will be a neoprene mat. It will definitely fit inside the box and will be protected so it doesn't get smashed or anything like that. Uh, and you just kind of lift it out of the box and roll it right out. Do you want to cover over what components will be in the box and what the price will be? Um, well, we're not totally sure on price. Uh, so we're, we're still getting close uh, and trying to figure out exactly how, how it's going to be priced. Um, expect something uh, a little more expensive than Root. This game essentially, the, the number of components in it is not far away from like Root plus an expansion and a half. Mm -hmm. or so. Uh, so that you get a lot of stuff in the, in the box. Uh, for our Kickstarter backers, we'll be uh, giving you all, uh, additional stuff, mostly cosmetic improvements. Uh, we want to do something like a little journal, metal coins, kind of deluxified components on that side. Real magic. Actual, actual, actual magic. magic. <laughs> um, the uh, pieces, so we, we don't have final meeples here. Uh, you can see a few of them. They're uh, quite, quite large and chunky. And then uh, the actual warband pieces that we're using generic meeples for are going to be a little bit, about as tall as the root meeples and then wider, and we've shared pictures of those. Um, yeah, and then there'll be a, a ton of cards and a, a pretty good tray for organizing everything, kind of setting it up. Um, it'll be, a, the box will be heavy and full of stuff. What about asymmetry? What about asymmetry? Good question. So. Uh, when I was at PAX Unplugged, people would ask me how hard this game was to teach, and I would say it's about as hard as learning like one and a half to two root factions, which is slightly more intimidating for a player learning the game from nothing, but for a teacher, way easier than having to <laughs> run through all four of the factions. Uh, and that's principally um, because there's really just one player position, so it's not as rad radically asymmetric. However, I am playing the Chancellor, and these folks are exiles. Our objectives are quite different, and the emergent asymmetry in this game is very, very, very high. So we start out at a position of somewhat equality, and then we're going to diverge very quickly. That's principally because the cards in this deck, imagine if you took all of the root asymmetries and atomized them and made them into like single special powers. Each card in the deck has a kind of like game-breaking special power. It's just over the course of the game, you're going to be drafting your own asymmetry. Cool. Uh, so we've all performed setup, so I'm going to start my turn. Um, some rogue magic or something? That can just sit right okay. anywhere Oh, the sure. military track. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, I'm just, I, I will kind of narrate my turn, and then after that we can just play. And you guys don't, don't feel the need to narrate everything um, if there are questions and things like that. So I start by influencing, and I look over here, and I can get... Uh, so all of our player pieces are very charming, charming folks, and so you can take favor from the suit matching the card where you're at. So I will take a favor matching that card, mm -hmm. comes to me, uh, and then I can take my actions. So the current victory condition in this game we're playing with is uh, the Oath of Supremacy, which is if you rule more sites than any other player, or uh, you get a victory point at the end of your turn. Uh, the amount of victory points you get will scale depending on where we are in the game. So I want to take over sites and rule things. So the first thing I'm going to do then is muster up an army. So when you do that, you have to pay a card. I'll pay these guys. Uh, and then for each buck I spend, I get two guys. These guys I'm placing on my cohort right here. One, two, three, four. And that costs one effort. Most of the actions in the game cost effort, which you um, increment this little track to show that you're spending effort. Second thing I'm going to do is go look for stuff to take over. So I'm going to take a travel. And I'm going to spend two effort to travel out here. So I got it. All right, it's the Narrow Pass. So all of the uh, sight cards, there'll be about 24 of them, and they all have different powers associated with them. So the lush coasts are connected to other coasts, so they kind of uh, short, uh, they provide shortcuts to the map. The Ruin allows you to dig around in the ruins and get magic. The Narrow Pass um, has a travel limit on it, so whenever you're moving to the provinces, you have to go to the pass first. 
Okay, uh, that's my second action. So it's all over. At the end of my turn, I do clean up. This money that was spent in this card goes to that six pack. All right, your turn. I don't want to intimidate anybody right at the start, but I have at least two people rooting for me. Oh, jeez. I will Patty say is, that. Patty is oh, awesome. I got you, well, I will say <laughs> Matt Benusa says he's rooting for Ryan. So Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Uh, I got Josh and Kyle on my side, which I hope I don't disappoint you. Patty's <laughs> fearsome at this game. I think she probably has the highest win rate of anyone on staff. It, it hasn't been very good lately. But, yeah. All right. We'll get to it. It's because I'm mean and cranky. I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm going to play. We start with Warbands on here. Oh, yeah. Right? You should I also forgot have two. about that. We each have two, correct? Yeah. Yeah. That's my bad. I get six, but everyone else gets two, right? <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take money from them. I'm going to... This was my effort. Okay. Uh, so somebody, yeah, someone else just talked about setup time. Uh, so while Patty takes a trial, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll explain it in detail how setup works. Um, so basically, when you finish a game, you kind of clean it up in a way that makes it very easy to set up. So the board, for instance, you'll like, you, you look at the, the territory of the victor, you put the cards on the sites, and then you just stack everything up into a stack. So you can unstack it. Uh, really, and then the, the deck construction, which is slightly involved, it's easier than Premier, but it's on that order of complexity. Um, you do that at the end of your last game. So when you go into a new game, you basically are going to hand each player their bag of pieces. Mm -hmm. You're going to put the money in the starting banks. You're going to deal out the map, and then you just start playing. Like it, I've been telling people it takes three minutes or less. Mm -hmm. Whenever I've timed myself, I usually do it in under a minute. Um, so it, it's very, very, very fast to set up. Teardown takes a little bit longer. It's about a five-minute teardown. Length of play. Uh, length of play seems pretty variable depending yeah, on what happens in your game. Yeah, it could be 45 minutes on the shorter side. I've seen, I've seen it in a half an hour a couple times. On the longer side, if, if the game really goes the distance, it'll go to two hours. For most games, like if I'm thinking about a game night, I'm budgeting, oh boy, I just shook the camera again. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's all right. I think it's fine for right now. We'll it's see sure. where it ends up. Gonna... There's a short delay. We'll find out. Okay, well, we'll just we'll worry about it later. Um, so for sorry, I want to take this site. Really? Okay, no, I mean, <laughs> um, usually I budget like sixty to ninety minutes when I'm playing it. It's pretty easy to slide into a double header. All right, Patty, what you got? Uh, well, maybe it's too early. No, you should do it. I'm nervous. Now. Don't be nervous. No, you're fine. Okay, so Patty Spice, this is good. Kyle, first combat, right? <laughs> yeah, so um, one of the one of the, the things that is a little different about this game is that when you are fighting, you can fight for lots of stuff. You don't just have to fight for one thing. So Patty, you've got two people. I do. Um, it probably is too early. I want to do it anyway. You're gonna do it anyway. Okay, <laughs> so she can target as much as she wants. What do you want to target first? Um, as long I, as it belongs to one player. Yeah, I just want that. You just want that. Okay, so that's one site. So she'll take one misfortune die. And then you've got two guys to my one, so you have a two to one ratio, and you will roll the die. Now there are a few other phases that would be invoked right now. We'll talk about them. Uh, minus one. That's minus one. Uh, so now you have to spend the war. Well, you'd have to. Spend now all Patty your war has bands. to choose. She could s kill both of her war bands to get a victory, which would force my little guy to run away. But then she wouldn't have enough to take control of the site. Oh no! I did this in the wrong order. Do you want a muster? I do want to muster, but I, it's fine. Okay. I'm, I'm going to spend them. I'm going to spend them. I'm going to spend my You're still going to, you'd have to fight again. I know. Okay. All right. It'll be fine. All right. So th this person, I lose half rounding in my favor, so I'm not going to lose anybody. And then I get to put them wherever. I will just take them right into my. Mm, I'm going to put a station. Nicholas right says he's rooting for justice and honor. That's right. I think I'm going to exemplify justice and honor in this game. I'll take it. Thank you, Nicholas. I appreciate your uh, support. I think most of my wins have been when I joined the Chancellor. I don't think I've won as an exile. Oh, I forgot. It's I too hard to be bad. My only win has been from an exile. Someone calling from New York. Uh, must be important. It's a, from New York. It's in New York. It's New York, New York. Well, it could have been one of our shipping partners that is in New York, New yeah. York, but I can't take that yeah, call yeah. on the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you get your four? Yes. All right, cool. And that's your third action? That's my third action. Okay, cool. And then these are going to go right. If that was Justin from OTX, I apologize. <laughs> All right, Ryan, you're playing. All right. Uh, taking my income from the matching 
uh, or just from there, yeah. from that suit. Goes from there. And then I will spend two effort to draw four cards. So these are always drawn one at a time. Oh, yes. So one, oh, two. And there's a vision, so now so you stop. So he right. stops. Uh, Ryan, what did you just see? Vision. You saw a vision. I saw a vision. <laughs> there you go. So he has to stop playing. And then uh, and leave, actually. Uh, and then now I drew a vision card. I did it. He did it. Okay, <laughs> so that increases the penalty. So this deck will start to get more expensive to, to draw from. Um, if you want, you can show the camera your vision. I, I'm not, I mean, you guys got to look away. No, no it's yeah, going to be a surprise it's on for my everyone. phone here. It's, it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. no, so oh, did you really no, say I didn't no, no. <laughs> If you keep your face down, you have to put it on that other side. Oh, because it's, yeah, because it is I a, not a real side. What are you not the And then that discards. <laughs> yeah, there it goes right there. All right. I've um, changed how my legs are. <laughs> I just, what I have to get. All right. changed your ways. Uh, we have another room. question, yeah. kind of, about how the game remembers. Do players maintain the same characters between runs, or do you always become the chancellor if you win the previous uh, game? Great question. So uh, the rules encourage people to have the previous game's winner play that plays the, the chancellor. It's kind of fun because the, the chancellor is, like the cats in Root, like a little harder. Um, and so usually after a player wins, it's like fun to see if you can, you know, how long you can hold the belt. Uh, but import, uh, you don't have to. There you go. And there is no player uh, persistence across uh, games outside of what the players might want to project. Is, yeah. And this is really important because there it means go. that you can play the solo variant of the game, you Wonderful. can play like a three-player game with you know a sibling or a close friend, and then you can take that same box and play with your weakened group. You, you, you don't need to like always have the same players at the table each game. In fact, I actually like like being away from a set and then coming back a few games later and seeing how, how it shifted. Mm -hmm. uh, Cole, somebody asked, are there different visions in subsequent games? There are uh, always the same five vision cards in every game, and four of the five visions interact with the four victory conditions of the game, uh, and then the fifth vision is the false vision, which oh, right. may, may come up. Are you done, Ryan? Yeah, so what I did for my turn was I gained income for my three actions. What I you decided took this, to do. right? Yes. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, so I took income from here. Yep. I played, which means I, do, I spent two effort. Drew four cards, but because my vision was picked up, only got to draw two. Uh, what I did then was I mustered for one, which allowed me to spend one income to get two into my warband, and then I traveled for my third action, bringing me up to my my uh, effort track limit cool. to the shrouded woods. The action modifier here is when leaving the site, you always spend two effort. The site ruler chooses your destination site. So that was my turn. Cool. And then we clean up that. Yep. All right, Marshall, it's yours. I got some more questions for you. Hit me. Marshall knows how this game works. Uh, yeah. I, just one quick question for Cole. I assume since this says influence phase, I can just take this here magic yeah. instead. There yeah. You go. Which is what I'm going to do because there's also no card there. <laughs> uh, what you got, Patty? Okay. Uh, we have Will this play well with two players out of the box or is it more of a three player game? Uh, it'll play well with two. It'll be. Well, the way that I'm building the bot right now is to have the bot play the Chancellor. A little bit like if you're familiar with Pamir, the way well, well, ah, the way Wakan works. So you can like use that bot in the two-player game, which essentially gives the two-player game the feeling of the three-player game. Um, but yeah, it, it plays pretty well, too. Even without the bot, it still plays good, too. And then we also have, uh, how hard would it be to contain multiple saves in the same set? Uh, you cannot do it. It would, it would be very hard. <laughs> okay. Um, I have moved to the mountain. I will now play for two. Uh, and these are still one at a time as well, correct? Just in case? Or can uh, you no, check? No, no, you, you can go. So the discard piles, you, you can always stand them out, look at the back. To look to see if there's a vision. Yep. And, you, and you don't stop when you draw a vision from a discard. You can just pick it right up. Excellent. Okay. Hmm. Ugh. Man. I already want to shift gears. Do you want to shift gears? Yeah, I want to be a good boy. Being in exile is too this. hard. <laughs> I don't know if I want to partner this, really. <laughs> a little bit like the cats, once the chancellor loses control, it can get a little harrowing, and I'm, I'm worried <laughs> that I might have lost it. I'm just going to leave this down here. 
Okay. Uh, so because Marshall played a card at a site, uh, he played a Nomad card, the Rain Boots. They're very happy with them. So Take that only Nomad money him. that's there, indeed. Uh, and then my last trick is I'm just going to battle here. Right? There's nothing there. Yeah, you can just fight, fight just it up. Just go for one, we're um, fight. I have two dudes. You got two guys, so you, you're at a three to one. The mountain will hurt you a little bit because it's uh, you always lose one, minus one when you're battling. The sure. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and take your roll. So just one die, right? Just one die. One objective. Negative one. one. That's oh, terrible. There you go. Oh, you no. just spend two so guys. This, to this would be the same dilemma that, that Patty had there. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, the I'm just gonna it. lose. Yeah. So uh, just this let it happen. happen. Yeah, indeed. I just um, lost. Man, okay, that's my play. It is yours. Okay, I've got a big army, and I, you know, Patty, mm, I don't want any partners yet. That's fine. No You're going to regret this. Yet. We'll see. <laughs> so I'm going to choose to target uh, the neutrals, as they were. So and I'm going to target all three of these spots. So this is a three objective campaign. So I take three misfortune die. The dice always hurt you, and for everything that you target, you have to add a die to your roll. Now, I'm not fighting anybody, um, which is great. Uh, and I've got a giant army, so I'm at operating at the highest thing. So if I roll all zeros, I'm just going to win the fight by default, but I'm not going to get that lucky. Okay, so I rolled a minus one, a zero, and a times two, so it's a minus two. So in order to win the battle, I have to kill two of my own guys, which I would do gladly. And then if there were enemies, uh, you know, if I was fighting a player, they would have to pull off the board, and I can re-garrison my standing army across these spots. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to go here. Pass team support. So that was action one. Action two is I'm going to draw from my zone's discard pile, and I'm going to spend two effort to draw all four cards. I think there's only three there, but... So yeah, I'll, I'll take as many as I can get. Um... And his it's it's uh, two cards per action, so that's why to draw the three, he'd still need to spend two of his uh, effort. Yes, I like this card. I'm gonna keep it here. And then for my last trick, I will take this card and play it to the site. So any card that is face down, this doesn't cost an action. You can finish the play action. So I'm playing Animal Playmates here, uh, which helps you when you're mustering from Beast cards, and then I get a buck from the Beast Bank. That's the end of my turn. Uh, can you explain the overarching narrative of Oath again? I think you did it at the beginning. Sure, sure. Uh, so basically, the way uh, Oath is essentially a political game, and it imagines a moment of crisis where it looks like the order, uh, something we're calling right now like the Commonwealth, is in some kind of period of flux. The players are going to try to take advantage of the crisis. Um, as it as it conspires, they're going to kind of you know try to build a, a faction and get their get their allies together and, and take over the regime, or maybe uh, they'll try to use a vision and guide the game down a very different victory path. And then it resolves in one player kind of starting a new state. How long that state goes will be up to the players. You know, uh, uh, it's easy, uh, the game can, can support. If one player's winning you know, three or four games in a, uh, in a row, that's like the continuation of a long dynasty. Each game will become the question about if that dynasty is going to fall. So the, the overarching narrative can be shaped a lot of different ways, but it's essentially about uh, crisis and kind of sorting through that crisis. What you going to do, Patty? <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, building up my tiny little army. Having a good time. Yep. So I rest... Muster, and then I'm going to. Hmm. Who am I going to play? Yeah. Can I flip this up before my influence phase? No, it has to be during the action phase. And currently that would be zero because there's nothing in it, correct? <laughs> Oh, poop. I have I a vision. Have you have a vision. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, I've had a vision. Right. I mean. <laughs> Oh, I have not been incorrect. So we are on the second round. I've gotten two points. Because I've had the most sites at the end of both of my turns. You'll notice on this track that after the end of the fifth round, we'll roll to see if the game ends. I'm a six or higher, then a five, then a three, and then it will be over. Um, the game can end earlier if a player completes a vision. I don't like any of these cards. I'll hand it to this one. There you go. It's all you. All me? 
All right. Mm, there's uh, it right on top of the old <laughs> pile there. Appreciate that, Patty. Mm-hmm. Good mm. luck. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, uh, it seems like we're moving. <laughs> the, the penalty to draw only apply to the main deck? Only to the main deck. There we yeah. go. So basically, what, uh, from a design standpoint, what's happening here is about 10 to 15 cards are going to be added to the game. Then it becomes so expensive to draw from the main deck that players will just keep those in circulation over the course of the game. So during the influence, influence phase, uh, because they don't have any uh, cohorts mm-hmm. here, just no income? Yep, no income. All right, so I'm going to rest up. And uh, next for my second action, what I'm going to do is, let's see, I'll, I'll play mm. Spirit Snare, taking the money. And then I will campaign. I'm going to campaign here. Okay. You want anywhere else? Just there. Uh, Take the narrow pass right out from under him. Ah, uh, but see, that's going to be Ryan. hard. Don't. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I just want. I want the. Well, let's see here. He's got one. Two. It's currently you're in control of five sides, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be hard. Yeah. We'll <laughs> I mean, I'll let folks join. I'm just not going to give you very much prestige. So and I'll, I'll say uh, how that works is on my turn I can make offers of citizenship. If accepted, those players will flip over their boards and they become citizens. All of their pieces on the board will convert to my color, and we will like essentially pilot that color together. Um, I can offer them favor to join. I can offer them magic to join. Or most importantly, I can offer them prestige points to join. And the way this works is if purple wins the game with the most victory points, you then look at the prestige track. So right now, like, my player color is black. If purple wins the game, I've got the most prestige points. Now, if I were losing, I would be trying to desperately buy players in and hope that I can find a way to get more prestige later. Um, but right now, I like my position. Before I campaign, I may... We didn't even talk about this. We have the Royal Blessing and the Dark Secret, correct? Oh, yeah. You yeah. want to buy one? I think so. And then that ends up going to... Uh, you just pay it down. So if you're buying it for two, it's one, two. It's a... It costs two. The, this, this is one a value one. So you do where we're just doing something just off camera. Uh, so darkest see. Secret. That costs magic. All right. You'll be buying that Royal Blessing. You'll be buying that Royal Blessing. And then you, you can adjust its value to two. And it can sit anywhere by your board, like even near the revealed vision. What vision so. do you have? <laughs> well, considering he hesitated after buying the little blessing, I'm not sure if we know which yeah. one he's going. Or was this a play? Uh, I don't yeah, know. Was that the uh, play? Right? Right? Yeah. Um, God, that's, you're so, so good. Uh, the royal blessing and the darkest secret are privileges. They'll be probably dials or something, and they hold a value. And it's kind of like an auction where on your turn you can buy it by paying one higher, at least one higher than its current value, and then you take it. The Royal Blessing gives you the power to banish, which means when you're playing cards, you can kick cards off the sites. Where's the die? Uh, there's so many. There's so many. Oh, times. they're right there. Okay. Oh, yeah, I guess. Um, so you move back <laughs> one. Are you even? Sorry. So I got four warbands to, to one. To one. So you're three to one. Three to three one. one. So move okay. Up. Okay, now. Now you're trying to take one site. Yep, right? one site. So that goes moves down by one? Uh, no, you, no, just, you start on one. That's oh, one die. Yeah, that's right. Now you start on one because you're only taking one site. Negative one. one. So you only have to give up one boy to win it. Yep. All right. This guy uh, runs away. All right. And then no, he doesn't want to go to Narrow Path. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure can I? Can. All right. You can drop off as many guys as you'd like. There we go. Um, the other privilege is the Darkest Secret, which allows you to manipulate these piles of currency. Uh, and both of those powers are useful, worth fighting over. But the main thing that's useful about these is there's one victory condition that you win the game if you've got the Royal Blessing. Another one you win if you have the Darkest Secret. Here you go, Marshall. Uh, when does the when does the offer happen for the free rest? On, on my turn. On your turn only. For the free rest. The free rest. <laughs> oh, yeah. when, when people convert to be citizens, they get a free rest. I'm ready for notice. a nap. I might Let's be, go I citizen. Might be exhausted. <laughs> I would like to be uh, okay. Right, you got three actions. <laughs> I've got three actions. All right. So I just want to tell you, Cole. Yeah. Uh, what would what would it look like to get two prestige? Uh, to no, concerned. I'm good. You're not even giving up two I'm not, prestige no, 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 no. to I have don't a want partner. He's I'm selfish. Telling you, I'm telling when you, when these rubble, then we're talking. Then we'll talk. It would be really, really I'm good for you to just do it now. Okay. Uh, that's all I would say. All right, then I'm going to get influence, which is nothing, correct? Because mm-hmm. they are empty. Yep. Um, that's not fun. So let's go up and let's kick your boys out. 
Let's muster to start with. Oh, well, let's rest to start with. That's definitely my first uh, one. And then we're going to muster. Learn from your help. Learn oath. Um, okay, so someone asked. Um, so there are, there are some mechanical similarities. Would, would knowing anything about Premier help you learn oath? Short answer is no. Um, longer answer is both Premier and oath ask like s s a few of the s similar questions. It's just this game does it on a completely different mechanical footing. Uh, and has a very different character to it. So, like, for people who play Premiere, you'd be like, oh, this is, like, I can recognize, like, a little melody. Like, a little bit of Premiere is kind of in there, uh, but it, like, presents itself totally differently. Yeah. Just a little doozy. A, a little spoil little doozy. for this site uh, that, that's or a good pawn question. or privilege here. Is that what is that what spoil for the site means? Yeah, I'm, so, uh, yeah, if you target that site. You get negative one? Yep. Okay. Hmm, 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 hmm. You got plenty of guys now. I do. I think I, I. I'm wondering if I should do that or if I should move back up to the ruin. That's this is pretty tasty, especially <laughs> if you were getting ready to make me an offer. This would be a really good place to be. It's a good place to end your turn. It is. It is a good place to end my turn, and I have the three to move there right now. God, I'm doing a lot of resting. I'm a lazy boy. One, two, three. <laughs> we're gonna move right up here. So sleepy. And these pay back to this. This was probably a bad idea, to be honest, to some extent. And then I'm also as a minor action. Yeah, you can just flip that boy right over. I'm gonna flip Ooh. this one over. Okay, so this one, um, you're gonna want to flip this over first. So this one has to be played on the site. Oh, it does because of that. Oh, so then. It must be played there. But the ruin doesn't have capacity for it. So I would have done it before I left. Yeah, so yeah, okay. you, you might want to hang. I might right. just want to leave this right there. You might want to leave it. <laughs> no, I might just leave it. That's a I good card. leave that right there. Yeah, it is. It is. What game could you compare this game to? Most similar? Um, I don't know. Brian, you play a lot of games. <sighs> uh, it could be a compilation. Yeah, so I, I mean, I, I think uh, a game that I think about a lot that it reminds me of sometimes uh, is Innis. It is nothing like Innis. No, yeah. <laughs> but, like, but, it, right. uh, but it's just like the way the, the lands work. Uh, and it does feel a little bit like a drafting game. I'd say there's a mix for me of Tyrants of the Underdark, mm -hmm. uh, which is... I've never it, played, but I'd like to. deck builder yes. with dudes on a board. Cool. Um, yeah. um, Innis is definitely good to have in that mix. And then I would definitely say like... Uh, like almost like Twilight Strugglish style cards, but not so. You know, like uh, like each card just has this. Oh, 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 oh what could I? There's like a bunch of like. like there's the card it? strategy in Twilight Struggle. I would definitely agree. Sure, yeah. sure. And there there are a bunch of uh, kind of like emotional notes that I wanted to hit, and one of my favorite ones is the feeling in Race for the Galaxy when you draw a big tranche of cards, and you're like, I want everything, mm -hmm. and I have to pick one. There is a lot of that in this game. Like you are almost never able to do two things at once. So it's a lot of it like, I'm looking at four really good things. I need to pick one. And then you, the, uh, where it is a little bit like Innis is what you're not picking is almost as scary as what is being picked because you know somebody else is going to pick it up. Yep. And you're, you're, you're injecting it into the game. When right. you don't pick it, you're putting it in a pile that somebody's almost certainly going to do. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm right now holding a card that I do not like because I do not want someone else to <laughs> Okay, so you're a square? Uh, yeah, you're I am. It's all you. Does the vision stop your draw? No, no not on here. A pile? No? Nope, okay. You can, you can swing right through it. Uh, okay, so I'm still doing okay. Um, uh, Matt asked again, go ahead, uh, about the estimated cost and if there will be deluxe edition. Um, so right now, there's the, we're, we're still in the production discussion, uh, but um, like, like Cole mentioned earlier, you know, expect it to be a little more than root. Um, but this is going to be, you know, as, as Cole put it, um, root plus an expansion and a half or so worth of content and, and also things in the box. And so, things in the same um, lots of, lots of unique individually like pieced art as well. If you can't already see that, I mean, it's, this is just such a pretty looking game. I'm yeah, impressed we, with it even in this state. We have, um, all of the, so obviously everything looking at here is prototype. Uh, and we have maybe 40 art pieces for the game right now, something like that, maybe a little less. Um, there will be about 200 or more pieces of art, or unique pieces of art in the game. So there's going to be a lot. Kyle's so, saying going to be tired. Sorry, Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> Did you do the victory points for the uh, Yes. Okay. Good. Yeah, I've been forgetting that. You said three. It's I'm not at good. three. So uh, these do scale. So like it's, it's pretty common for the Commonwealth, to, especially if we're playing with this oath, the most sites. For the Commonwealth to sort of skate 
a little ahead, and then it's going to get bad right now. I'm going to. Is that good? And then move your card over so that we can see your quarter. I'm going to. Quartz, please. Thank you. I'm going to muster. Patty is. She, she's so, a little worried. She's down. How wide are you going to go? I'm and then I'm going to rest. And then I'm going to kick your butt. Okay, Whoa. how many sides do you want to take? I want. Mm, it doesn't have to be right next to each other. No, Just any one of the purple ones. Any two. I'm yeah. taking three. You take Whoa. three. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that army, right. though. Yeah, yeah. It's a big army. Uh, now, probably not the one I'm at, right? You already taking this one, this one, and this one. Are you taking this one, this one, this one? Oh, good questions. Why not the one you're at? Because I've just got I've got six guys just here. Oh. If you took these two, you'd be in good shape. If you take three, you'd get victory <laughs> points. <laughs> I want it. What do you get victory points for taking three? Because if, if, she win, if she wins, if she ends the yeah, round, yeah. 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 Uh, if you take the ruin, I I might have to fight back. Fine, I'll do two. Just to make my way into the. I'll know, do the west coast and the ancient city first. Okay, cool. Uh, so let, let's, we're going to go through combat a little more slowly now because this is a consequential battle. So I've got four guys. Patty's got eight, so she's watched, sitting at a two to one. Um, we then get to use battle plans, which we haven't had to use before. Um, I have one battle plan, which is that if I'm fighting against uh, nomads, I've got my longbows, so I'm pretty good at fighting them. Patty, though, has no nomad liability. Like, she doesn't have any nomad cards, I so my longbows nomads. aren't working <laughs> right now. Uh, and I, now you can roll. Roll it right up. Go, uh, Patty. Go. Go. Wait, she's me. taking two locations, so I think you No, no, move. so you, you just roll. It's, oh, it's just it's the, a, it's yeah. just the we, uh, we made the same yeah. exact We, like, no. changed some of the ergonomics no. of this. Negative two. You've got plenty of people, though. Yeah. But you I love that. them. Just uh, kill three. So you can kill three. <laughs> All right, goodbye. <laughs> Um, and then I love them so much. I, Bye. Lose I love them. Very, very very short love. run. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll see. Is it? I can talk drop. about expansion possibilities. Uh, possible, but there is. I don't. A can you leave ones after? Yep. And basically, oh, any wow. side she took, she can re redeploy to. Yeah, that's um, so that's expansions. Good. This Thank is you. root is <laughs> like not easy to expand, but it lends itself to expansions. Yeah. This doesn't. There are a couple of things that the game does really well that we could do, but mostly like this box is going to have so much content in it. Like you have got at least uh, like a hundred plays <laughs> just in the core box. Ryan, what, what is going on with us over here on I this side that. of the table? Okay. Minor action. Oh well, Minor I might be now it's All right. Uh, so I'll be gaining income here, and I will. Colonel Mustard for two. And then I will. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, boy. Playing cards when at a very nice zero site is such a difficult thing yeah, to do. Yeah, you don't do. want to do it. I need to make that icon just huge. Yeah, yeah. No, it's such a great site to end your turn at, but not to be at. Like, yeah, I like. That. <coughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Come over here. Get him. Yeah, get I'm, I'm gonna, him. I'm gonna get campaign him. here. Get him. At the ruin. He's fighting. Me. Three oh. to. I'm not fighting uh, you. I'm yeah. fighting. No, I say he's right, fighting. So yeah. you're, you're, yeah. you're one to one right now. Three to two. Okay. Uh, yep. Go ahead. Right. Zero, zero, zero. I keep wanting to use my longbows. I keep not working. <laughs> Negative one. So you have to lose all, right. all your dudes. I have to lose all my guys. And you can't take the zone. It's just But free. you would kick you, you would, you would take it from me. out cuz currently right now it and is And then I would do it. Now do if you it. wanted We're um, exiles together. If you have another action you could just fight again. <laughs> Patty would score points at that. Point. So <laughs> what I did was is I muster moved Oh yeah, you don't. And yeah. this is it. Battle. And I had to I had to have battled here in order to yes. target. Yep. But, so don't there. Hear me out. What? If you <laughs> I get to score this next round, which means we just move up. And then if you take it from me, you get more points. It's all good. She's trying It'll to get all work out. I mean, that's, 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 that's I'm that's open to becoming a citizen. Though. We're exiles together, Ryan. I don't know. I'm still feeling all right. <laughs> Fine. You die. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I get. I you have the opera. I mean, just singing. Now, look at Patty. She's gonna win again. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens. Okay, you good? I'm good. All right, I'm gonna take the magic. For the influence action. Um, 
I'm gonna rest, clearly. Oh, I wish I could battle travel battle. That sure oh, would be nice. With the Oath Keeper. Yay! It would be very <laughs> nice. It's, it's a pen. Pens. It's a pen. <laughs> you have to wear the pen. Yep. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and battle with the ruin. Why? <laughs> I mean, okay, fine, I don't care. <laughs> You don't need the ruin. There's nothing there. I promise. You can go wide too. You can target lots of spots that aren't controlled. Oh, yeah. If you yeah, want, you can target. I want the ruin in the mountain, please. Yes. If you target the mountain, <laughs> I will it'll take. Mi- so you're it'll be a minus yeah, you're one. You're here, and then if you want the mountain, it'll minus one because of the mountain's power. Sure. And that's two dice you're rolling. I got six dudes. Come on. Yeah, you're fine. Just give me Is some the zeros. Combat comparable to dunes oh. at all? It is a little no bit like you. dunes combat in. The- so uh, zero times two, and two is still zero, right? Still zero. So All you right. see to kill one guy to take guy. it. Bye bye, um, buddy. The combat is a little bit like Dune's, but um, ex- uh, I don't know. It's so weird. It's like Dune, but made incremental, so that there, you know, it's, it, there's no blind bid in it at all. Oh, sorry, um, I needed one for a battle. There. But it is more similar to Dune's combat than other things. It's a little less bloody. Howdy, you're not going to score a point anymore. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that like that. Um, oh. no. um, I'm gonna travel, I think. Yeah, no one actually has the oath right now. You're rude. Sorry. One, two, three. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm gonna come down device. here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just as a minor action put this on blur. There you go. Oh, this getting cool. paid back to you. That gets Thank paid. You. Okay. I am worried, Ryan, about your vision. Listen, I'm in prime spot for us to take this. I have two zones down there. We would go back to making points at the end of your turn. I need, yeah, yeah. I need some prestige. Or, or I need some prestige. you go patty, because now Marshall's my enemy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't do anything to your people. I left your people alone. You hmm. didn't give me no points? <laughs> okay. Didn't okay. give me any points either? I'm going to start and take a, take a beast buck. For my influence phase, you're done, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, I've got some magic built up, you know. No, I know. That's that is the that is the thing that is most. <sighs> All right, Marshall. Sure. Yeah. It's no, your no, choice. no, no, no. See, so you haven't started. Was it's a great time over here. <laughs> no, Why you not got Ryan? Nothing. Why not? You me? got nothing. You got nothing. <laughs> you got my friendship. <laughs> Is this uh, my first ever wait, citizenship? Wait, wait, wait. I don't, ooh, I don't know what I want to do. I'm right on the edge. Come okay. on down to the ancient city. I mean, city. well, we got to make a deal first. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we do have to make a deal. Okay, so for it, I'll tell this to, to the camera. Uh, how do you get prestige points? So if purple wins, highest on the prestige track wins. How do you get prestige points? There are always three ways. So you can take over new sites for the Commonwealth. They like that. Spend three bucks. One, two, three. You get a prestige point there. Or if you've got magic, you can cast two magic. And the way that works, you just put your magic here, and then magic is spent a little bit differently than favor. Because it's like a battery. You like spend it, and you get it back. Uh, you've got two magic. I've only got one magic. Um, I offered two. That I, seems I like a really low magic. offer right now. It seems like a low offer. How? Uh, Beyond being right here. Yes. Uh, you'll notice, if you'll also notice the old oak. Yeah, no. I'm I don't have any magic. So that the old help. oak is a balancing act, man. Sight. It gets you your magic, too. Back. I know. I just got to go out there. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to make an offer right now. Oh, no, God. You are my sworn it. enemy going forward. <laughs> we I shall battle. I can't do it. <laughs> All, right. Um, All right. I do need to Ryan, take this. Uh, Patty, let's kill this guy. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Join me. I was going to destroy him if he turned me into an exile. I think he he did the math on that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You're just no, you're doing, the wrong, you're doing, you're doing the, the wrong thing. You're doing the wrong thing. All right, we're going to have ourselves a little fight. No, we're not. We'll fight I don't I refuse it. If we, uh, if, we can't, if, we if we don't yeah. fight you, we can't lose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whoop. Uh, oh, I've done some shit. Yeah. So this guy you can take back into your cohort. This one is just... Uh, so, well, one goes into cohort, one gets removed. And then I want to redeploy half my guys here. Cool. And then at the end of my turn, I will score a point. Oh, it's go time. Wait a second. This is not right. I should have... Oh, we're we here. Four. I yeah, two, points. two points. Correct. Cool. All right. I built, I built my lead. That could have been me. It's fine. You take this one, you score your points, and then I'll take this one, and then this one as well, and I'll score my points. <laughs> this and this one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll take everything. <laughs> and I'll take... That's it. And it's fine. It's called two for me, one for you. Yep. One, two for me, one for you. Oh. Yeah, you're close, Patty. All you have to do is take one of my. Mm-hmm. 
You're in. You're wait, in wait, 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 wait. Do I score? I don't score. You don't score. Go you back. It's two, two, and two. Up. Yeah, I thought I got knocked down. Don't be gross. <laughs> chill be gross. Actually, Patty, you could even just take one of these psych, like a travel psych card up here to win. You don't even have to take. Win. I know. I you was thinking about it. You could be the pacifist, the version of this, the point score where nobody could even interact with you. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about Ooh. it down here in the hinterlands. I don't know what it is about the hinterlands. Yeah, you're always, you're I'm scratching. always in the hinterlands when I play this game. I just like it. You know, I'll be honest, there was a zone in World of Warcraft called the Hinterlands. Did yeah. uh, he did not. I, I rewound it. Oh, you rewound it. He rewound I'm like a little colorblind in this dark blue purple thing. It's getting me. It's <laughs> the finished copy will be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the There'll be screen printed yeah, people, yeah, too. Yeah, it's going to be very, very colorblind friendly. Like, the hues will be good, and they'll have unique uh, screen prints. I'm going to... I'm Did monster. anybody watching the stream play board games yesterday for Christmas? I'm a monster. Feel free to tell us what games you played. I'm interested in what people play on the holidays. Ooh, I can I tell you what I played? Yeah. <laughs> Katie and I played Origins. Oh, wow. Origins? That's Origins. I played, it was sick. Oof. It's so good. <laughs> Cole and Josh and I played a very long four-hour session, I would say, of Origins on Saturday last week, and it was so fun. But I just have not stopped So I, like, I taught, I taught my wife how to play. And she, she's played a lot of Origins before. But did not even use the player aid. Oh my! And it was way easier. Okay. It was like yeah. the core of the game is so simple, and that player aid is so scary. You have to stare at it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm traveling here. Yep. Uh, this is a new. You, I don't know. You guys have played with it. This is a buried giant. Um, you can spend a magic, which in that little minus means out of the game spent, and uh, then essentially travel to anywhere in the hinterland. He'll give you a ride. Ooh. 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 Okay. Travel there. I'm going to campaign there. Okay. Cool. Roll a die. You're starting at a three to one, so this is... You go up one. Yeah. There you go. One. It's just a, a one. Kill one Goodbye. Board. All right. How much are you going to drop? I'm going to drop these two. Cool. And you can permanently expend a magic here, meaning it goes out of the game. Yeah, you can uh, But you can travel to anywhere in the hinterland. Not a fan of that. As Patty said, I was her sworn enemy just a little <laughs> while ago. Just, you know, don't worry about it. That's fine. That's fine. <clears throat> oh, Nicholas says we finally got our copy of Wavelength. Uh, couldn't wait to get to the table. So good. Yeah, we played yeah. that a lot a last lot week last in week. the office. <laughs> it is so fun. <laughs> I've played the this the two player mode with my wife too, and we find we got the sixteen points, Good. which is yeah. a win. Like oh, nice. the other night, it's so oh, fun. Oh, it's I so am fun. the exiled of exiled right now, feeling like it at least. I can't right. offer yeah. you anything, but if you I don't get any. Me. I don't get any income. I wish I could um, offer you to join me, but that's not a possibility. <laughs> I'm going to play here. No, 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 no wait. No. Can I? Yeah, I can yeah. draw. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you can. Two. I didn't want you to do that. I wanted to see that vision. You have two visions <laughs> hidden on the side. My I'm gonna goodness. rest. I'm gonna rest, and then two, four, six. See now I'm gonna make the offer. One, two. Paying six. That's it. That's it. You paid six, right? There's a penalty of two. Am I crazy? Yeah. No, no, no. You're oh, right. Six. Yeah. How six. much did you pay? He paid. I paid six. No, or no, no paid, you three. paid three. You paid three. So, so, you're so you can draw two, two cards. Draw two so cards. So put the top one back. That's the one. top one. You were drawing well, no, whichever one you drew last. This is the one I drew last. Um, <laughs> or you could hang on. get more. I want to do that. So that's going to be a total of, so I rested, so I spent one, two, three, four, five, six, mm -hmm. which means I can draw four, four right. cards. Does that draw eight? You can draw eight. Eight. Yeah. Oh, well, three. you can draw until you hit a vision. <laughs> yeah, there's the vision. Five. Six yep, stops. And then you get six. Okay. Just injecting those cards Put into the down. game, Ryan. Put it down. Ryan, I'd love you to be a citizen. <laughs> Is that so? Yes. Well, I'll give you three per seize. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, of course. Well, he can't do it until his yeah, turn. Yeah, I'll do it on my turn. turn. This is great. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, so these all go up here to the cradle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I apologize, Ryan. I am going to have to battle you out of the ruin knowing that Cole is about to turn you into a citizen. I don't know if we'll take it. He's sitting on... I'm seeing great things. <laughs> He's seen three visions. 
Oh, my. I mean, this is interesting. Yeah. All right, are I'll you give done? You my Is that your turn? Yeah, yeah that's so I got a good I, offer for you. I played right. to get this one. Then I rested. Then I spent <laughs> all of my effort <laughs> literally in my meditation hut. Yep, I see that. You were meditating. I was in my meditation hut. I can only influence where I am, not from here as well. Yeah. Right. And I'm just, I've got three great visions of how I see this. I'm taking this Commonwealth Did you do your influence? Instead of taking, oh, could I have instead of yes. because yeah, you didn't. There was nothing there to influence, but you could take the yeah, magic. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, now that site is literally a dead zone. I don't even know if I'm that worried about well, it. Yeah. It's, it's good that you got pieces piece, piece on it. Indeed. Um, I could <laughs> muster if I wanted to. It's only for two dudes more. right now. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a good deal. You give me a good deal. All right. Okay. Get a haggle. <laughs> what do you do? Who's this? What That's, do you? Oh, well, actually, what? I should have more. I forgot to get points for taking over sites, which I've been doing all game. It's all right. I'm going to be giving most of them to Ryan. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to play two. This is amazing. This is. Disturbing what is going on currently. <laughs> it's treated me nice before, but I don't think I'm going to see a vision this game. Something tells me. <laughs> you just got to right. pay for it. And um, <laughs> people can always freely discard cards from their, their cards. <clears throat> it's fine. Okay. Yeah, this is. Oh, man. Can I have four different cards, please? Oof. These are all for someone who's going to go into the citizenship, and that's just not me. All right. That's how we're playing. He's going to attempt you away. Who? Oh, me? Marshall? Oh, no. He's, he's, I, it's his, he knows what he can see. I don't. That's the, ah, <laughs> uh, shoot. All right. What's my movement restriction? I'm going to have to rest first, aren't I? Muster the rest, maybe? This is all bad news. We're going to go ahead and just rest, uh, and then we're going to move. So one, two, three. Mm. Planes. If an attacker declares a spoil for this site or a pawn privilege, plus one advantage. OK. I think that's it. Go ahead. <coughs> Chancellor. OK. Hmm. Don't do it, Ryan. Don't do it. Ryan? Make yeah. him pay. <laughs> Say you want five prestige. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you um, two favor and four. Two favor and four? Two money and four prestige. Just I mean, <sighs> I think he can afford five. <laughs> He's so close to nine already. No, I know. Yeah, I know. Okay, okay, I'll give you five prestige. Oh man, just, I didn't have to do anything. Flat, <laughs> flat, five prestige, flat, nothing else. Oh no, money. Ooh, he just took I mean, money. how much? I mean, let's just put it this way: it's in my favor that I, I am essentially having the winning combination right now, and it's worth five prestige for you. Are you sure it's not maybe an extra two extra money worth? I mean, it, you will win the game if you give me five prestige and two two money. <laughs> so okay, I'm gonna for the camera. Talk about some other, some other things. I think this is my Pause. Like, this is not my like closet, my like, confessional cam. <laughs> Ryan, um, so. If out. Ryan, yeah, I just I can't stand this guy. <laughs> um, so, if Ryan were a citizen, there are two ways he can stop being a citizen. One way is that he can leave, which will cost him a favor for every magic he has and every uh, warband he has. Or I can kick him out. And kicking him out, I have to spend money equal to his popularity. Currently, his popularity is zero. We won't even. <laughs> hey, my popularity is zero too. Patty is is the one with. With the popularity You're right now. Cool. Always. Um, <laughs> in every game. But three visions, having three visions is an exceptionally dangerous thing. I'll give you five. I'll give you this, I'll give you a five and a favor. I Chancellor, think, we have a deal. I think you could have won the game. Mm -hmm. Oh no. We'll see. Hey, Ryan, <laughs> he shift, might your, still. shift your player board uh, words to the left so people can see you have three visions. Um, so I, I got so many can, visions. How uh, can I hold on my visions? All right, so all right. I have, I I'm going to lower this so much one, anymore. two, three, four, five. And then Ryan's little victory point marker is going to get demoted or promoted. 
uh, to the prestige track. Uh, You'll notice over here on this side of his board it says no he vision. Yeah, he I don't a, think he can reveal it. He right? cannot reveal any visions while he's this. You're and rested you, all the way. And you get a rest. Free rest! Uh, and you, your warband converts to purple. Your one warband. Your one warband. Yeah. Put all them visions over there. So no, 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 not, no, not yet. He has to. He just can't. <laughs> he can't put them for himself. Oh. He, yeah, he doesn't lose them. them. He'd have gotcha. to discard them. Yeah. Okay. So that. Just kidding. I'll take a look. Now at I'm going to take my turn <laughs> and think about what I need to do. So all Ryan, right. Ryan's taken care Ooh, of. Come wealth. Now destroy him from the inside. <laughs> yeah. I need. I need cards. Is what I need. Okay. I've, I got a re first rest, and then I need to head back to the cradle before Patty gets there. And he's already there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been a problem. Why? What do you need? <laughs> What's happening? All the cards in the game are sitting in the cradle. What's anyway. happening, buddy? <laughs> uh, all right, I'm done. Okay. I'm going to. I need cards that do okay, things no with do. my magic. Uh, I think you covered it earlier on, but covering the suits. And mm -hmm. They're not connected to the characters, but how are the suits? Yeah, so uh, the game has a deck with six suits. Um, each of them represents a kind of like... Each of them represents a different kind of like... Um, I don't know the right way to explain it. I think Kyle, Kyle explained it as like a cultural aspect. Um, so we have order, which is like militancy. Hearth, which is all about um, sort of people, support, farming, all that stuff. Uh, Arcana, which is secrets. Magic, uh, Discord, which is general disruption, uh, Beasts, which is like uh, sort of animal affinities, and then Nomads, which is all about movement. Um, and the deck is populated by, uh, the starting deck has nine cards of each suit. At the end of the game, depending how the game is won, um, there is a big archive of about 150 cards in the six suits, and depending on how the game is won, we're going to pull some cards out of the game, and we're going to go into that archive and draft cards from uh, the suit that most helped the winner. Um, so, like, for instance, if Patty won, so you always add six cards into the game. If Patty won the game, she just has one phase of Hearth card, so all six cards added would be Hearth. If she had, like, a Hearth and an Order card, you'd do three of each. I'm going to put that there. Um, okay. The Storyteller. It's a good card. Hmm. Take that favor, discard all of that, and then... No visions. <laughs> Don't seem to be any visions anymore. No, no visions. Not What's going on? Oh, my brain. I can't find them. Oh, oh, oh. 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 There watch. are five visions in the first 25 cards. There's likely still a couple. I mean, there are two. <laughs> there are two. I'm worried how there. You're going to have to vision pretty hard. Um. You're going to have to think pretty hard <laughs> in that hut. Uh, yeah. I'm over here just cooking up a bunch of magic, hoping that... Oh, you're gonna I'm so sorry. You're fine. I, mm -hmm. I will attack you later, but not this time. <laughs> not yet. Uh, yep. Done. I think you Done. score points. Give me points. She certainly does. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm Ryan, do something. Do we advance? Ah. Uh, I don't. I think Patty gets three, and I think after this we start rolling for the end of the game. <laughs> Oof. Oof. All right, Patty is the new target. Oh, no, yeah, Patty we're... just went out right. No, no, no. We are you not. Are we're I... both exiles. There we're is both no exiles. There is That's no what brethren I'm saying, in exile. Marshall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're both There's, exiles. There is no. Here we go. Ryan's gonna get Patty. Don't. I mean, but don't though. But. But don't. Uh, no, no, no. I've been uh, very supportive of you this whole time. Sure, <laughs> you have. You gotta, you, you gotta take some points. What's that? You gotta take a site to get points. Yeah, I know. Um, it's up to you, partner. <laughs> so this is I. I maybe waited a little too long before partnering up. <laughs> I offered I it to you in a yeah, very, yeah, very yeah, good yeah, time. Been the when we would have had take. the win for sure, it just probably just would have been me. That's all. FYI. I understand. I do understand with what you want with that information. <laughs> I because you only have the one dude. I know, but I wanted to. He doesn't have one dude. Doesn't he have access to yours no. since you're here? Or no, because aren't y'all all one? Oh yeah, he's yeah got, yeah he's he's got, he's oh, got really? access to those That's as right. well because they're all one. Yeah yeah. But I mean, I don't like he well, rules. We're purple, yeah, it's like yeah, we're, we're purple mouthless. So yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. He has these two powers, that, and mm -hmm. then he doesn't have access to this. And in fact, he and I can still fight each other. 
Yeah. It's just wherever um, the garrison of the side is. You only is, have the one the guy floor. unless you are fighting him. No. Or with those dudes. No, no, no. Um, so at the beginning of my turn, I would, because I... Or that's, oh, that's you can't influence pawn. this. You influence where you're at. Yeah, correct. And so that's, that's still zero. Um, okay. So this means that, yeah, having the planes would be good. The problem is, though... And it's only two actions! <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, it's going to be a play for the planes to a certain extent. Um, I'll take them right there. back for you. Don't worry. I know. From you. Don't exactly. Worry. Gotta, Patty like is about to win the game. That is what I'm no. telling you. She could. Throw she could very well win the game at any moment. No. That's the idea. Yeah. I'm going to have to fight That's Patty what I mean about the game. No. Sometimes it goes a half an hour. <laughs> it's fine. And we can, uh, at the end of, the, at the end of this game, I will guys. go through the setup procedure. We can kind of like set up for a second game. Yeah. Yeah. I even kind of show yeah. you what the uh, opening of that would be. So what I'm um, hearing is kinda, it would benefit us if I, I won now. <laughs> this would be, you just have to get lucky, right? I mean, that's all you do. And roll a zero at best? Yeah, I don't know if you can do it right. No, I know. I think we have to take take the roll here. I think you just a bad I also just noticed that we're using the rate. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We addressed that at the All beginning. Right. He's very cord or like like yeah. regal. Yeah. Like, yeah. Alright, cool. So I'm, what I'm thinking what I'm what I'm generally thinking now is that I have to have to get more warbands, right? Mm -hmm. Um and You can't muster there. I cannot, no. Yeah. So it's like I move somewhere. I right, it's either I go to the planes and I can't muster. Right. But I still attack and roll a zero and then everything's happy. Or <laughs> negative one and get nothing. Yeah, one. exactly. Um or I come up to the ancient city, and I oh, get yeah, I've got this covered. I think mean, get somewhere and start raising your raising army and muster. Yeah, because look, Patty might throw a six and win. If she throws a six next turn, we lose anyway. Yeah. that's what I'm trying. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think we we can't close. We already screwed up a little. <laughs> But we can get ahead of screwing up. I need you guys to take one, and I can slow it down by one. But we'll see. I'm not like it's. So I have to get. So I. So I. Difficult. So I'll spend. So I'll spend two. No, I have to spend three, and then mm -hmm. campaign essentially mm -hmm. in order to try to mm -hmm. try to stop you. One, two, three to travel within the hinterland. Mm -hmm. Then one to. No. Camp oh, you'll tire. Yeah. That's, right there. Yeah. So then. Roll a zero. No, no, no. You don't have. You don't start at an advantage. Do you? He's, he's not three to one. Yeah, he is. It's no one, one to zero. One to zero, zero is a three to one? Yeah. Because it's so a zero and a t or a times two, really? Right? Zero times two, you got this. You got it. it I believe in one. you. 50 50. There we go. <sighs> That's what I needed. You deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't. I don't You're done, right? That's it. That's both I of us. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you could kill your guy to win, to win the fight. But there's nothing to... You would get a prestige point because you won the battle. Does oh, and then I would win. But only if you're... Only if purple, purple wins, yes. which is oh, not currently yeah. right. But that's not your fault. Oh, yeah. No, that's right. He has blue with the victory track. Got it. Um, no, nah, I'm good. All right. Cool. I can stop Patty from getting points. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop her from winning, which is right. a problem. Which is why you should have come up here. Oh, no. no, I don't want. He's already over there. I, I think they could. Or I wish it was said here or right here. You can start mustering. Now you got nothing. You got no mustard. I am going to have to mustard. Uh, campaign action first. No, I don't have any guys. Play action first. For two? No, one. We're going to hope that one of these two cards is usable for me. Oh, these are both fantastic. <laughs> These are actually great. Now I have one. All right, we're going to play there. Yep. Oh, this goes. Oh, yeah, here. Here. Very good. That is very, very good. Especially oh, with, with, the, uh, with the angry cow. Especially considering who's there right now and what I got. That cow's just thinking, put me down. Put me down. <laughs> How dare you? Oh, is that the, is that the monster cow? The terror, just yeah. like where you oh, stare at that cow's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> can I, I can use that right now since I'm there, correct? Totally. Uh, so I'm gonna put two magic on it. Oh, just one. Only one at a time. Yep, you one can't at a time. Two. All right. You need to pull three. Two magic, I think. Or it two. It says two. Two, two oh, magic. Yeah, two. I mean, I'll take the extra one. No, no, no. There you go. Okay, but now I'm gonna muster. There you. Oh yeah, that's good. Now you can't muster on that card because the card's been exhausted. It's been used. Oh. Yeah. So if you could, you might be able to throw that card out there We're too. Gonna have to. I didn't really want to, but we'll, yeah. do that. we'll muster. Uh, I can muster for three, correct? Yes, you can. You get six guys. <sighs> it's 
God, a dudes. A lot of guys. Four dudes or six dudes? Four you dudes or six, six dudes? Four I dudes. six dudes, that's right. All right. You're good against Bring hard. on the dudes! Yeah, that's uh, good. Which is good against, I guess. yeah, there's double liability from Patty. Mm -hmm. I'm rolling a six. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, this yeah. Is easy. You're, you're banking on that six roll, uh, I get it. Um, and then that's the end of your turn, right? Uh, well, I believe the odds it was are here, favorite. and once I do that, I can leave some here? Or no, because I haven't battled it, correct? I don't have control of it yet. No, you don't. I'm going to have to rest then. There you go. Okay. So you can pick which dice you want to roll, Penny. <laughs> which it one do you think I'll actually roll it? Oh, wait. No, that goes, that, back, that to goes back to you. That's your yes, magic. that is my Sorry. own. That's my magic. Uh, uh, this one. Okay. Don't roll a six. Don't roll a six. Don't roll a six. <laughs> so scary. So rolls always. Oh! oh one of the right. <laughs> <laughs> Patty does get that points, though, doesn't she? Uh, at the end of her turn. Oh, so. I, I, I have a chance to close it. Get it, it. Cole. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Okay. All right. Don't worry, we need. We're gonna tear it. gonna get torn down. Here. They need. Where'd that money come from? Did you just do that? I just put this you money just in. Just kidding. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even take my I got a buck from influence. Um, mm. What's my liability like? God. Okay. Don't okay. Me. How, just like, how far can we go? I want the coast. Okay, so I'm going to target here and the coast. Woof. Seems bad. What is okay? Where are we at? Shout out you from the plains. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, Flo. I believe in you. Just way out here. We don't need both. We don't need both. I'm just gonna do the one. Just the agency. Wow. Just the agency. I got a Tom share at the left coast. Uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to do the one. Now, the way this works, too, is you can target any pr uh, blue spot. So I could just target that. I don't even have to target this one site. But I, I want to take the agency. We're going to do it there. Okay, so I've got a 3 1. Uh, no battle plans. Actually, I don't have 3 1. I have a 2 1. Okay. Uh, two you dudes. don't have enough people <laughs> to do that. Quiet. Quiet, you petty. Uh, you just get kicked out, I guess. I want just, yeah. So one dies, one goes back to Patty. You, you can put that anywhere you want. So even like here, for instance. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that was a muster, that was a battle. Ugh. Get ready for some pouting. <laughs> um, sorry, that money goes there. Uh, you got a sizable little force. You can go over and take one more of their spots. I'm gonna spend this alchemist. I, we are. I kept them from from having that. the points as well. Now I didn't go. I didn't go down to it all. My card. Uh, I'm just down now? here in the hinterlands, I'm, kicking it. I'm good. I have mustered. I have battled. I think my effort might be worth off. All right. All right. Uh, we score three points. One, two, three. I didn't notice this. Gross. Sure, it'd be nice to have a vision. <laughs> Holding them. <laughs> Oh, gross, gross, gross. Ten favor. I'll kinda, tell you. Kind of set up for a vision win over here, but. Uh, I'm going to take these two. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to muster. Uh, Cole, adjust prestige. Oh, yeah, thank you. I just forgot. I, I got a point because I just garrisoned the site. I got a Cole. I'm going to blame it on that. Oh wait! You're mustering. I am mustering, but, but then I can only—I only have three dudes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's not just winning a battle for the prestige. Just I have to garrison a new site. So even if you win it, oh yeah, so you wouldn't have gotten the prestige of them. That's not good. Never mind. I'll take that. I'm talking about something that does not matter anymore. No. Can you take yeah. a meeple off my meeple? I don't appreciate this. <laughs> Put some respect on my meeple. Is, I did. My meeple's a poster meeple. And then I'm gonna right. rest. That's two. And then I'm gonna crapola. Shoo, 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 shoo. If I could have four actions on my next turn, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, extra. I could use one extra. I'm surprised you're not doing a dive. Mm. It's hard. I don't know what to... vision he's sitting on. I, that's the. I, guess I mean, move? and it's so expensive to dive right now. That's part of the problem. I could move. That seems fine. When I rest, can I drop more people off? 
Yeah, uh, when you rest, you can drop people off or pick people up. If you travel, you can pick people up with you when you leave. Okay, I just wanted, I rested. Uh, one difference people will see like, compared to Root is Rule is not passive. Only one of us gets to have warbands on the board, like Risk style. Um, I don't know if that's a comparison I'm allowed to make. Um, so, like, you don't rule passively. Like, even if, like, Patty's got a much larger army than I do at the narrow pass, but she doesn't rule it until she forcibly pushes us out. Oh, we're playing that. A, okay. Go ahead, Ryan. All right. Um, okay, so I'm going to get one from the square boys, square mm -hmm. people here, and then I'm going to... I think I'm going to muster four peoples, please. I don't think you've got, do you got... Are y'all's infinite? Oh, yeah, yeah. Cole got him right there. I got you. Thank you. But is that it for you guys? Uh, no, we uh, we're going to lose great pieces. Okay. I didn't have 30 purple meeples because we, we just built preview kits. Is it limited? It's component limited. It is component though? limited, but it's okay. 30 for the Commonwealth and then 12 for the individual players. Roger. Okay, and then... Oh, no! No, you have to rest for your second action. This just happened to me, and it is one of the most frustrating things ever when you muster yourself out of your All third right. action. We at least I have mean, another... I mean, I could... We at least have a third a action. Third. Yeah, yeah. Could, I mean, in terms of, like... I don't know if I want to do this, but I could reverse it to spend one less to get two instead of four. You could. As long as everyone at the table were to That's agree. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, Totally not. Have less no, I mean, I'll leave it up yourself. to the table. No, it's what, it's whatever. Just in, I don't care. Just yeah, go. Follow yeah, your heart. You can start taking your next action. Okay. So then I'll campaign here. This is why I said no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Whoa. I didn't even need it at that point. So there you go. You drop. How many you drop? Uh, two. Okay. Gross. So then I go up a prestige for garrisoning a new site. It's a bummer. I gotta close the gap somehow. And then that ends my turn. Uh, do I want to... Actually, it probably makes sense that I go to the tear, spending a magic to gain two favor from the hearth supply, one which magic. is just one. And then this goes to here, and then this comes back. So My popularity! Oh, yeah. <laughs> so um, we'll do a quick like vision check. Actually, go ahead and take your turn, Marshall, and then... I don't want to show folks the way the different victory conditions have been interacting. Okay, so we're going to campaign down there first. No, no. Yeah, absolutely. No, I mean, no. it's, yeah. you shouldn't even have taken it. Yeah. Uh, do you want anything else? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Could get some points. I could get on the board. That doesn't. It's not going to. It doesn't. I need visions this game, Ryan. Um, hmm. That'll be three. I need two. Three three three. Three. So you, you need to be able to take it whole turn. turn. So with those two, what am I looking at? No, because then that makes it a... It's what, one-to-one? -one? That would be a one-to-one. -one. I don't like a one-to-one -one here. One -to -one. Um, if I did just... I could do just this one. You also have a battle plan you could ignore times two mm -hmm. modifiers. Mm -hmm. Do I, I don't have any hearth, though, right? So I don't have any liability to you guys? Or do I because of this? Sorry. Uh, liability because of this um, battle plan up here. Oh, for the nomads. Mm -hmm. You don't have any. Oh, they're no, you. Oh, you, this. Yeah, you, mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna use our bow our bows on you. Yep. You have to pay a magic or a. But I mean, you've got it. You both got it. And I, I would be the one to pay. The chancellor always defends. Hmm. So if I just fight here, that doesn't or that does take place. Does it matter? Um. Yeah, it does take place. So no matter where we battle, that's happening. Mm -hmm. But you get sprinkles on your frogurt. That's good. <laughs> so I go, then you go, you take. Yeah, I have to battle these two or else we're just going to lose the game. So I I'll believe battle, in you, I'll battle those two. Oh, I don't. It's going to be awful. It's going to be uh, wonderful. It's one to one. This is going to be one to super one. cool. Starting there. Whew. And I'm taking two sites, so it goes back one as well, right? No. No, nope, you draw you just get two these. dice. Oh, two dice. That's right. I'm still stuck on the old system. Yeah, I know. It's. Uh, um, uh, you so can do it! I can ignore a times two, which is good. You I have to pay. 
There's a negative oh, two times two. Yes! What do you Bad. mean? Okay, so I'm going to ignore the times oh, two. Oh, yes. Yeah, there you go. Now oh, do the negative go. two. Technically, you had to do that before you rolled, but we're good. You, no, you, you did would, allow me to put the extra... I'll, I'll allow it. You would, have, you would have spent the magic anyway. Oh, of course. It comes because back. Because it comes back to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know yet. I thought you did it in response to no, this. No, 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 no. I mean, this will come back at the end. Yeah, that'll anyway. come back. You're, you're All right. You just need four. Four dudes. There you uh, go. Nothing to, to... And so get your guys out of here, and you guys lose half of them, right? Yep. So two guys are dead. And I'm going to take all of them. Chancellor, why? Mm, actually, so actually, actually throw, them yeah, throw them out. Yeah, throw them out. And I want you to have them. Oh, thank uh, you. Uh, Chancellor, why? <laughs> <laughs> so um, by saddling Ryan with the big army, I make it more expensive for him to exile himself. So um, I'm still worried about you. Right. I mean, you're winning. Why don't you trust my allegiance to you, Chancellor? Yeah. That was my first action, however. It was the battle. So now, I need to muster. Oh, did I not take any favor at the beginning? I did not. I should have taken favor from the blue dudes. Yes. Um, I don't have two browns, right? It has to be up here. It, it has to be there. Okay. Yep. All right. Then in that case, for my muster... Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to use my second magic to take two money from the... Never mind, there's no money at the hearth. That is awful. All my money. Gain an additional one. Okay, that's interesting. I think I have to play at this point. So the penalty is three. What is muster? Okay, we're good. One, two, three. And if I w so that's drawing zero at three right now, right? Mm -hmm. And this there you go, drawing. draw four. What? You're going to draw four, right? Well, if I go to here, I draw two, correct? Yeah. And this is draw four? Mm -hmm. No, we're drawing two. Okay. <laughs> I need, I have a third action. I need it. All right, all right, all right. All right. It's mine. <laughs> it's mine and I want it. Oh. The cards in general were inspired by uh, the work that Nick and I did on TMM and that I did on the uh, the new root deck, and they're all real powerful and kind of stupidly powerful, but it's still hard to fit them into your strategy sometimes. All right. I wow, play the my Twitch chat got real dark. <laughs> we're fast. And then we started talking about what would happen if Cole died or what would happen if Kyle died. So let's We'd finish the game. What? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I would, okay, hand me that, hand me that, hand me that rule book. Got real I want you to know that like, the rule book now exists. Sure. <laughs> so like, don't worry. Someone could maybe finish this game. I did my best. When I play that, I get a coin from them? Is that still the case? Sorry. These when guys? I play that, I get uh, a coin from them? Yep. Yep. Okay. Their last dollar. Their last dollar. Um, <laughs> this, so, that, so you can safely <laughs> kill but Cole. But the posted... On the first day of the Kickstarter. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. And now I will muster. The editor, our editor, would kill me if I posted it right now. Yes. Just needs one more pass. Yeah. Just one more pass. And I'm going to muster here because that's going to get some money back in there. Oh, so I mustered here. And does this guy not get a? I uh, he you just scoot it back. You scoot your little favorite like. Yeah. Whoop. And then it goes there, yeah, and it's yeah, exhausted? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because you uh, can't freely drop off guys anymore. I can't right? drop him there now, right? Because I'm mustering there? Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, when you rest, you, you get to drop off it. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, uh, now, I think I, look, yes. you're winning. Yeah, three points, and we roll the dice, unfortunately, don't we? Yes, we do. Now, right now, Ryan is going to win the game. Let's go. So here, I'm going to so put both of these on the five the side. Die. You roll five or higher. Which die you want to roll? Oh, I get to choose. Which yeah, one? I think. Uh, this one, well, that one was super. Oh, you touched them both. Now they're all going to roll low. Come on, roll low. Roll low. I'm so it's a, fi it's a five plus? Five or higher. Three. It's for, you, it's for you, Matt. I'm stealing a three. No! Oh! <laughs> all right. It's all good. Right. All right, it's fine. I just Why? need to Cur find... That's the cursed dice. It's, it's the cursed okay. dice. It's like this is one okay. I just need to find a ton need. of prestige points. Uh, very, very good. Let's go Let's look for them. It's good. Okay, so I'm going to start. Yes. Sorry. Look at what's going on. <laughs> if you want in, I got nothing. I can give you up to three prestige points. Yeah, yeah. If you want to come in, he might let you, like, you know, do the laundry in the palace or something. Yeah. But Ryan is, is pretty hot up right now. Okay. With the so, pre-vision stack. Man, I have not, not having a cohort this game. I've been experimenting with it. It's, it's rough. It is rough. 
I got nothing I can give you, Patty. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> That's, I didn't get any good cohort cards. They were all like, hey, you're going to play me down in the spot. Okay. Did you say no to Patty? <laughs> <laughs> Three, four, five, six. I haven't looked at cards in so long. This is the card. <laughs> it's the you perfect have card. No, it's not the perfect card. This is the per. I couldn't have drawn a better card. This is the best card. <laughs> and I'm going to play it right now. So this is Naysayers. Um... <laughs> When the an exile scores victory points for the oath, I gain an equal amount of prestige. God, amaze this game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Good, okay. I hate it. Uh, and that's the end of my turn. Well, now you have, an, you, you, now you have an investment. Show the card to the camera. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Uh, now know. you have an investment in, in keeping me scoring, Cole. Yeah, yeah I do, don't I? Because uh, I'm the lowest, I'm the lowest rung. There you go. It's upside down. I'm just sorry. Right, you want me to score. <laughs> I'm just sorry. I want what? You okay. want me to score okay. now. You okay. guys score points. Well, hold us. Don't worry about it. And uh, as we mentioned earlier, like, we have about 30 pieces of art, so, like, they are used a lot right now. So this is not what naysayers will actually look like. To all you naysayers out yeah. there. I want, like, an angry congressman in a wig or something shouting. Oh, Joey's also in the chat. Oh. Joe Wiggins. Hi, Joe. Matt Benusa says, you were my only hope, Ryan. I think Matt's already chalked you up to a loss here. It's those three vision cards. Sorry, Matt. I, I rolled the wrong guy. I mean, you, you rolled to win, and you, you might get another chance. We'll see. Oh, what do I do? Next turn up here. What do I do? Interesting. Marshall has too much land. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> we have no money. We are land rich, but we are poor. Yeah, just, it's all uh, locked up right can now. Can I have a magic? Yeah. Give me some of that sweet, sweet magic. Where are you, where are you getting magic from? You got two things? Yeah, Oof. she's got two. Oof, you got the foxes. Sweet, sweet magic. Power of the foxes. Mm, what do I do? What do I do? I'd be worried about these prestige boys over here. I'm going to move one, two, here. I'm gonna cast my magic. I I own that, but you owe oh, your guys there. I think you can do it still. That is correct. And you take one from any suit supply. You know you could have had two money. I couldn't have. There's from, oh, no. they're out. They're broke. I, I know see. what I'm doing. I see they're broke. <laughs> I put money back into the nomads, but not into the foxes. Yeah, they broke. Uh, any chance for Marshall being offered citizenship? No. So I don't have much to give. <laughs> so the main thing that you can give citizens is prestige. Yeah. Um, if Ryan could offer, he might be in more of a better Ryan situation, but he's not. Yeah, he yeah. yeah, they're kind of like there are a few, there there are three different phases of the game where citizenships get offered. Right at the start, um, if you're anticipating things going south, which is a very reasonable and good place to offer it. In the middle game, right when it turns, which is when I offered it to, to, to Ryan. And then in the late game, as a last-ditch effort, we have to stop another player from winning, and so everybody starts joining up. So it will happen at, at different phases, but if someone were like going to win through a vision, they might pile into the Commonwealth in the late game. I think Patty's battling two spots of mine, potentially. I think I am. These two is what it looks like. And that's a one-to-one. -one. Yeah. And do I have a battle plan over you? You have hearth, right? Yes, I do have a battle plan. Yeah, so you can use your, your wrestlers. Plus two. Are you going to use your wrestlers? I mean, of course, yeah. Do I just move this back too? Yeah, two more. That's gross! Everything's gross! <laughs> Sorry. I can't let you take my zones. I need the points. Uh, You'd be winning if you took my zones, though, so it's a good gamble. Maybe I went too far. Too wide? Maybe I went too wide. Maybe I should have just done one. <laughs> Is it too late? I'm uh, still going to use no, my wrestlers yeah, on you, yeah, so you can move it up one. That's fine. And you, but which zone are you targeting? Oh, the mm -hmm. one I'm on, I would assume. Oh, yeah, so you would just roll one less die. One yeah. less die. Now, sorry, let's that let, would let, also let, let me back it up. One. Your your odds are going to be totally different based on what you're fighting. Yeah. yeah. So, like, if you're doing two zones, mm -hmm. or if you're going here, here, that's probably the better two. That's a two to one, because you're... He's got one. Oh, no, you got a hunt. I got four over here. So yeah. if you go two zones, it's a one to one. If you just fight here, it's a three to one in your favor. Yeah. 
but then back two for the... But back two for wrestlers. Yeah, we're doing that. All right, cool. So they're the wrestlers. All right, roll the die. Come on, wrestlers. It's Negative one. Yeah, two, three, so expensive. kill three. There you go. Sorry, little homies. And then just this dude, right? Just that guy. And actually, you get to keep him. Uh huh. I like it. They get to hang there. I get one more action, mm -hmm. which is great because that freed me up. I didn't have to rest. That's cool. Yeah. What, are you, what are you gonna do with your last action? Uh, oh no, I can't. You can't. He's already spent. been used. You could. You could draw. There's some cards here. Yeah, we're gonna draw. I'll draw. Those cards. Draw two cards. Oh, you've got press fangs too. If you spend a favor, you can. Oh, you can I take forgot. a muster action. But you're still going to want to play this card. I'll explain. <laughs> if you play a card and get a favor, mm -hmm. you can then use one favor to power up the press gangs and then the other favor to actually pay for the muster action. Oh, yeah, you don't have enough to pay for the muster. Currently. Yeah. I see. I get there dollar. you go. Now, dollar. if you wanted to, you dollar. could go press gangs to, and, and muster up some friends. You guys, everyone gets money. Money, money. Money, money. All right, you're done? Yeah. Uh, Marshall, that magic you spent, just kind of like put it off to the side to show that it's been spent out of turn, so you can't keep jamming it. So it'll come back at the end of my turn? Yeah, at the end I of your turn. I see. Um, okay, we got another battle plan. The disgraced captain. So in order to power this guy up here, I'll show him to the camera. I don't know. Let's see. Sure. Does uh, he have... Uh, uh, I'm going to go higher. Uh, so the way the disgraced captain works is you have to... Um, you have to spend a bucket of magic, and then you need to have an order card, and then when you're fighting other order cards, you get plus four. Well, that's good for me against you guys, yeah. and you guys against me. We all have order cards. Yeah, we're going to want that. If this game were going much longer, it'd be a big fight over that card. Patty, are you done? I mm -hmm. am done. Okay. Um, you do not... You do. No, you don't. What? Do I what? You, you're not the Oath Keeper. No, one, no one's no. keeping any Oaths. Right I now. was the last Oath Keeper, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. I just made us even. I'm gonna give a. Influence. Oh, I'm gonna take it back, Patty. Influence. Or you could attack Cole. I I have to move very far to do that currently. You just gotta go here. That's two. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's just two. I have, have to rest for one action. Yeah. And but then he's not. Nobody. You gotta fight. Here. See, you see what I'm saying? Talk to me about your fight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your fight. Also, you only have two dudes there. He's probably gonna. I don't know. Can I spend three prestige I have at this time to go up? I have one <laughs> oh, he's going up by spending three. He's going the money route. I, I think I am cooked. I think you are. I, I mean, I, I think you have to work against Ryan if you want to stop. Yeah, I just don't. I don't have. A, <laughs> I had such a weak tableau. You can gonna, kick was, him out, can't you? Um, what would happen if you? Oh yeah, him? I can kick him out. Oh, my but turn. when do you roll for win? Is it the beginning at the end of Marshall's turn? At the turn? end of Marshall's turn. Mm -hmm. So you would have to theoretically like tank your roll. I can kick you out because you're not popular at all. <laughs> if you want to get popular, you need to draw a card and put it in your cohort and pray that you draw And get rid of a vision. Yeah. So a player's popularity well, is a function of their cohort. Um, this is you can't see these uh, that well, but like these are stacks of chips. Oh yeah, that's right. So uh, these are top down. So um, basically, yeah, like, we'll, we'll do um, we'll do Patty's popularity. She has uh, a cohort that's member dear. who's from Hearth and one from Beasts. So that's one popularity point here and zero there so for a total of one. Now that doesn't seem like she's very popular, but she's currently tied for the most popular <laughs> in the game mm -hmm. with me with my naysayers. Um, so you rested and then played? Yeah. All right. And then I'm going to play Ba. <laughs> He's in the game trying to get popular. <laughs> I completely forgot. But I'm so like, you know, I'm in like stream mode. And so I wasn't thinking of like, I just have to kick him out. I can kick him out. He's got one popularity now. But That's he's fine. Such a I've good got favor to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to kick you to the curb, sir. Don't. <laughs> yeah. No, I knew he was. I, I, I saw this coming almost for certain. All right. I Don't please. Do you want Patty? I can win the game. Night. What no. happens if I tie you guys? Uh, it's the newcomer. Fail the newcomer. I think I can win the game. Yeah, this is uh, all right. <clears throat> Marshall's Marshall's shot. Here it is. We're going to rest. Uh, uh, this comes, comes back. Oh, yeah. uh, what happens to your points? You get kicked out. Oh, you lose them. <laughs> uh, so you fall to the zero. <laughs> you go to the zero. Yeah, now it's worth noting: uh, six points 
could be the winning score of this game. If you can pivot hard and fulfill the oath in the last turn, you'll get those six points, and you could still mm-hmm. go through. I mean, so and that this is another place where there's a resonance with Pamir. Uh, even in the last round, there's almost always a path that you could that you can use to win. But uh, the worse your game has gone for you, the narrower uh, and scarier that path is. Okay. Make it I have harder to. for them. If this is the end of the game or not, I either win here or I lose. Of that course is. it's the end of the game or not. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, you actually have to move here. Round. What? Yeah. You have to move the narrow pass. You can't get you <laughs> can't <laughs> make the <laughs> Oh, because you have to travel to that site. Yeah, now, this is better for you because here you would have had to fight four. And now you only have to fight three. I wanted to take it from Patty specifically. She was <laughs> so safe, she felt. All right, no problem. Uh, so I'm fighting three here? Yep. And I have five. Or swing wide. Um, (laughs) So I traveled. No, no, no. I rested and I traveled. This is a battle. This is Do we have any hearth cards? Do you guys have any hearth cards? Uh, No. He is down here. But you don't own it? No, you own it. Yeah, we have to. And in fact, it's it's me in particular. You and I would have to own it. Okay. So I don't need to pay that. That doesn't matter. Um, I will prepay the ignore of a. It won't matter. I don't. Because you're only fighting one suit. But might as well. Might as well. Get your rain boots on. Thank you. All right. Um, so uh, one location. it's a it's a one. I to have one. a two to one. No, a one to one. You guys have three. I have five. Yep. That is yeah. One, one to one. one. All right. All right. All right. There's a path. Just one little roll. One die. Roll yes, one roll die. minus. There's two. not a path. I got this right. Uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. I think I would call it a zero. No, no, no. That's a real. No, that's a zero. zero. That's, I, that's half the table. Uh, half the table. I got a call from you. What is this? You saw that. that Type was, in that one in the chat if you want to see the I'm sorry. Okay, roll down. again. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. I, negative one. Okay, okay. Right. okay. Right. <laughs> three dudes. I got it. Yeah, three guys. He's got it. And that's then he's half dying, so you deal with your guys there. Yep. I have two dudes to leave there. Oh, the old chat called re-roll too. So. Yeah, I re-rolled it. It cost me one. Thanks, chat. Um, All right. Um, so, uh, at the end of that turn, congratulations, you've got one, one two, two, three, three points, and we're rolling on a three plus. Is that correct? Yep. Where are the two dice? I'll There's, take this one. I'm fine. Yeah. 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 We can move that here. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, right right here. We're, 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 we're rolling. Dice tray? Three plus. Look. <laughs> we, that's not how we use our dice tray. <laughs> Woo! All right, Marshall just won. No. Good work, Marshall. Thank you. Oh, that was a tense way. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do now? <laughs> what we're going to do now is I'm going to show uh, show how cleanup works. Um, Definitely reroll. Uh, give me the rules. I want to follow the actual rules to make sure I don't miss a For step. those of you that didn't see, there's a commanding six. The commanding six. Good job, Marshall. Thank you very much. That All was right. a great game. That Look was at really this. Fun. I'm going to actually use point. the real rule book. So you won on victory points. Indeed. Which means you get to decide the oath for the next game. Indeed. Uh, there are four oaths, and actually I'll do a, a quick oath check so we all knew what the different conditions are. I so, don't know which one I'm picking. Most sites, <laughs> obviously you guys got a good hand of that one. Probably the game will include that as the default start with most sites, which is kind of simpler. Uh, one of them is have the royal blessing. That's uh, the oath of protection. Um, I know these are very small, but bear with me. Mm-hmm. Um, one of them is have the darkest secret. That's the oath of faith. And then the last one is the Oath of Rebellion, which is have the most popular support. This is popular support. So at the end of the game, like, you, I think, were, like, we were all, like, tied at one popular support. We weren't really playing that game. Mm -hmm. Games that are about popular support are very, like, election games. Like, you're trying, you're really managing a portfolio, trying to get things to line up, stack it. Um, These privileges, we didn't do this, but when, when you fight, so we spend most of our time battling sites, there are two other objectives that you can take. You can target someone's pawn. And if you win, you get to move them anywhere. Uh, and you can also target their privileges. And for every target on a privilege, you lower the value by one. Okay, so first question then is pick your oath. Uh, definitely popular support. Okay, so the next game will be played under the oath of uh, uh, popular support, oath of the people. And then we clean up the map. So all of us lo- losers pull our stuff off the map. Easy for me. Yo. <laughs> uh, any cards that are associated with those things <laughs> get discarded. They all get discarded. This one's it's here. Not, uh, this is, uh, no, no, no. He, he ruled it. Oh, he did. It. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, ruled it. Down. Okay. So here is Marshall's lovely empire. Now, you don't own anything in the cradle. Yeah. So pick one place that you want to promote to the cradle. 
Oh, I think the ruins treated me so well. That's great. That I, I would like it. a ruined crater. <laughs> so here you go. Boom. Um, and then the way this works is uh, we haven't totally figured out the right way to do it, but like these are essentially going to get promoted to there. And you can eat yep, We'll just keep it even like that. Um, it's not, um, um, there are just a few options for how we're going to like run the algorithm exactly, but it's going to look something like this. Uh, we then go to the big deck of site cards. And put out new sites. We're playing the second game. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're rolling we're right. Rolling. We're rolling we're right. Um, we're doing ten of these today, correct? <laughs> um, okay, so we would then look at your cohort. You don't have any cards here, correct? Um, so you don't. Uh, so uh, it, you have to pick any suit. The suit that you feel most helped you on your way. Uh, I really like the nomads. I think I would right. like to add some more nomad cool. action to this. So uh, at this point, if we were playing another game, I would like run to the other room. I'd get the archive box. I'd grab the next six nomad cards. We then take all of the discards, this is, which include the, well. yeah, that gets discarded as well. All the discards. The visions. Yep. Uh, the visions we can we'll pull out. Mm -hmm. So we go through the, the visions. I'll do this kind of out here. Go through the discard pile. You pull out all the visions. Is that all? Yep. Okay. Just Ryan had them. Don't worry. Yeah, I had all of them. <laughs> were, were there four? Didn't we get the fourth? No, one? we no? didn't. Okay. That's Ryan. Uh, and then I'm shuffling all these discards, and I'm taking one, two, three, four, five, six cards out of the game. Oh, it was a ways down. Yeah. Yeah, we had it. Oh, looks like we had a bit. Um, okay, so then, just I'm gonna like I'm like literally gonna just run through the whole procedure so you can sure. see all the work. Uh, okay, so we pull the visions out of the deck. Uh, we're then gonna add. We would add the six nomad cards just right on top of the deck. Shuffle them up. Then, um, because you added nomads. This little nomad suit is going to get promoted up to the top, and all the rest are going to fall. If you were, if you would have added like two of this, two of that, two of that, because you had three different cards in your cohort, mm -hmm. each card counts as like one tap, and you get to decide the order. Okay. Now, if you win as an exile, it's only your cohort, which which informs the cards added and the suit supplies. If we, if Ryan and I would have won, um, each of us gets to contribute one card, and so like if you wanted it to be Hearth and I wanted it to be Beasts, we'd get three of each. So the citizens, it's a little more um, egalitarian. Uh, okay, so uh, we adjust that, and then I would go through the, the deck build procedure, which is pretty simple. Uh, the way it works basically is you count 10, and then you put two random vision cards in, and then you count out 15, and you put three in. You shuffle under the table so you don't get biased about the sides, and then you stack the stacks like this and on there, and this deck, Unlike a PAX game, is player count independent. So at the start of the game, you deal from the bottom of the deck, and then you're just like ready. And we're actually like, I would have to rebuild this, but we're pretty much set to go. For the next game, uh, Marshall will play as the Chancellor. He puts two guys at his site on the cradle, and then one guy on every additional site. And usually what we like to do at the start of a new game is uh, the winner sometimes will briefly recount what happened in the last game, and then uh, we'll talk the players through all of the abilities that are starting on the table, because these abilities kind of form the backdrop for what happens in the next game. Uh, cool. Now, if we didn't want to play it again right now, uh, there'd be a, there's going to be a little box you can put your deck in. So you do all that building here. And then with the map, the way it works is you start uh, in the hinterland and... You just stack the cards on top of each other like this. And then for these sites, you put them like that. So these three cards go on top of the planes. Planes goes on top of the stack. Then the mountain, these two cards go here. And then when you start the game, you just take this world, this world box and you just do the reverse. And the game will set itself up and hold the position of the previous game. Sweet, okay. What did that take? Like 90 minutes? So. Uh, we started at 2. started at 2. There was like some rules and yep. Tom yeah. Fuller. Stream was an hour and 43 minutes, so that's great. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I, so yeah, I promise. It only takes like an hour, hour and a half to play. Cool. Um, I'm happy to take some more questions if we have any. We or? also, I mean, we, we had an extra, I'd say, 20 minutes on the back end where somebody could have very easily. Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. And, or, and yeah. it, it could have gone the full. Like, if it goes the length and you have, a, you know, a lot of table talk and stuff, It'll move closer to two hours, and but it could end early. And one of the things I like about it is, you know, if Patty was going to throw that early win, I would have demanded that we play like again right now. I know we've got <laughs> yeah. kids; we want to go home. Sure, you know, we're going to like sit. We're going to play. Another <laughs> game. Um, and that's you know that's just how, how the game can roll. Uh, can we lay the meeples out 
laying down, put it like in a, a blank spot. Just yeah, so exactly. yeah, so people can see. Um, there's another couple, right? It's this one. <laughs> yeah, there's, <laughs> there's two uh, more. Uh, couple. <laughs> yeah, we've got some other ones. The white one or the black one, but I don't think yeah, they're, they're, they're the all yeah, 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 that's right. Um, okay. We have, if you look at the Leo Games Twitter, uh, and you scroll yeah. back a little bit, we have a variety yeah. of all of them. Even on the Instagram, too. Boom. On the Instagram. Go to our Insta. Insta. Uh, the other one uh, person's been patiently asking about how the Chancellor works in a two-player game. Mm. Good question. So I've been testing it as with a bot Chancellor that I'm working on, and then you have two exiles, and the exiles can join up and play the in-game or the out-game like the Wakan bot works in Premiere. I've also been playing the game where you just have one player start as the Chancellor and the other one start as the exile, and it works pretty well. So I'm going to... I I don't like variants, I would rather just like figure out what is the better of those modes and then present that mode, but it'll work something like one of those two things. Uh, that's in development. So like where we are in... Two player. That'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where we are in development for the game is like the... The core design is like very close to design lock, and then we have... We're about 50% or 60% through all of the content of the game. There are tons of unique cars that need tested and vetted. Um, we've been doing a lot of internal testing and local remote testing, and we're getting ready to open up to external testers, um, and we'll just kind of be slowly expanding our testing pool. And there will be a point in that phase where I will put out a call for people who want to join. It'll probably be in a month or two after we get through the next round or two of external testing. So uh, what's happening on January 14th? Uh, uh, there's oh, there's a Kickstarter. Yes. Oh, yeah. Please, go back. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just lost Gates. Yeah. Um, scroll up in the chat. What happens if we lose Gates? Um, <laughs> That's the company Christmas party, yeah. right? January 14th, yeah, Gates, yeah. right? Um, yeah, so we are going live on January 14th. Please come to our Kickstarter page. This is going to be a great time. Um, yeah, we've got tons of stuff to show you guys. I can't wait to kind of like have it all out in one spot. Uh, over the course of the campaign, we'll be doing lots of playthroughs. I've got in the back of my head that I just want to like sit down and play like five games in a row. Um, I have not cleared this with anyone. <laughs> um, so who knows if we'll do it. But like that, it, it, I think this game lends itself to that, those sorts of plays. So just they, like a catered lunch and a full-on game. Yeah, just, I'm all about we, it. We just, we just roll an yeah. entire day. Maybe we'll do that on launch day. No, we should not do that. We're going to be way too busy. Yeah, yeah. No, that's... that's yeah. Uh, I've got plans. Like, so during the Kickstarter at all, probably not the plan. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to be doing a lot of stuff. I'm going to be... Um, a lot of the design pieces I've been writing for BGG have been kind of background and about process. Uh, I'll be doing a series of entries over the course of the campaign about the different suits and how the different cards work. Because each suit has a different character, and, um, yeah, we just we have tons of stuff to talk about. That was a very fun come from behind victory. Yeah, look at you. Like you I, was, I, was I was a little worried about you. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. I was really worried about you. Worried about you. Yeah. I was so worried about you. I was big, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the three vision bluff, I'm like, there is like an 80% chance that he could just stone, cold stone, like win this game. He already had the blessing, so I was also yeah. like... Yeah, in fact, he had that. Yeah. And so you did a very good job of being like, well... <laughs> that? 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 Rather <laughs> win on your side. And then uh, enfranchising him was great because otherwise, like honestly, I was looking for vision wins, like the magic thing. Stack yeah, magic, you know, I, I wanted like, to lock him in. So have your have your enemies closer. Yep. Um, yep. yep. And if it would have gone another turn, I was going to kick you <laughs> out so hard, and then I'd be I, back on so, top. Yeah, it should have it should have been a play for Marshall. I wasn't. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying too much attention to you. Really. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> I see. I kind of got was, caught up in my own. Like I got it. Like okay. I knew that I figured yeah, that yeah. I was. You would have rolled. I was actually. I was worried that in. I should have threatened to kick you out earlier, but I, I was trying not to project it too much because if you would start drafting popularity, you were going to be shedding visions into the game, and I was really worried about one of you two picking, picking it up. Yep. Because yep. I had I had uh, the rebellion and the royal blessing one, so I could have gone either or. I needed the at rebellion, that point. and I had the magic for it too. That was a nice thing. As yeah, I started yeah. the game with being able to get that magic off the ruin, I also think this would be an interesting start seeing the chancellor get magic off the ruin. I'm, yeah. I'm inter interested for that next. Yeah, game I'm so, I'm so, I didn't know if you were going to pick the darkest secret because you got the, the magic font. Right? Mm, I place. figured popularity was good based on the way cards and the magic play together totally. and uh, building it. Also, I've never played the popularity one. Oh, yeah, so, so that's, that's how we're going to roll. Yeah, um, yeah and that, that is left open so that if someone wants to defend the title, play the exact same mode on the, mm -hmm. the same app, you can just do that. It's fine. 
Um, yeah. in that the, would be dirt, the, pretty good, though. Yeah, yeah, you're right. The darkest secret mixed with the ruin. In testing, we like we'll just play one victory condition over and over and over again, and they're, they're fine. You can do it. It doesn't feel like it doesn't get stale. Mm -hmm. It is essentially like four different games that are kind of like interacting mm -hmm. with each other. This was such a different game than our last Royal Blessing game. Like it's, mm -hmm. I, that's the one thing I like about these is they. It, it's almost. I don't want to say four different games, but it's four different experiences by far. And there are like so. There's, and I'll just say one quick thing about uh, the replay on the replayability side. Um, people have asked me like, "Oh, can I have like alternate visions?" And it's like, pro like the game is very open, but the four victory conditions of the visions are like the anchors, and then the lens of like, "Are you a chancellor, or an exile, or a citizen?" That you interact with the victory condition is one big like filter you put on it, and then the other one are like, "What are the cards that are out? What are the cards that just you have?" And there are so many combinations in there that like you kind of don't need different visions. Cool. All right. I think that's it. Thanks, y'all. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I hope we'll see a bunch of you on January 14th for our launch. Cool. Bye. Bye. Bye.